find much appeal. And rolling. Just like, eh. We are back. Hi, Welcome. everybody. All right. So you get... After the Kraken fight, you're dragged to the new continent with, by, by Merfolk. And, uh... <laughs> if you recall... I wasn't there for this part. And, uh... You deliver Sven's... This big box that Sven wanted you <laughs> to deliver to the mayor of the town, whose name was Hamhand. Just this huge, corpulent dude. Yeah. And it was a... It, it was a magic wheelchair so he could... Roll and cart himself around. He was too fat to walk around. Yeah, we, we gave him a, uh, a magically enhanced brass enabler. Now, <laughs> section twenty-three. Yeah. Literally, f went across leave, the world. I liked it. Okay, I put a ring on. You leave that town, <laughs> and that is when the mist shows up, and you meet Adam Ava, and you enter. Barovia. <laughs> this is like right when that came out. It was awesome. Very fun. The curse of Throt. And then Vlad walks out from behind there. That's what you meant to be! Yeah. It's like, where where did you come from? Yeah. <laughs> Barovia! <laughs> yeah, Vlad shows up in the bar. So this is one of those disjointed awesome. filler episodes. It's like the... So just random things happen that just like right off yeah. like not being completely normal. Yeah. <laughs> They have a fun fairy tale. Yeah. There's a lot of filler. Like, really, really Like, filler. they have just, like, one or two off like, episodes like between the three shot. arcs. Yeah. It actually reminds me a little bit of... Man, do there, like There's a though. series of um, Star Trek books called, like, Captain's Table, where all the captains just gather, like, from throughout time, just in this place outside of time, and they meet and tell stories. Reminent, that's awesome. Session 24. This is right after you're, like, super deep into Barovia. It's the windmill. Remember that? No, that, is, that is what he meant to me. Yeah. The, Hello! That's where Nagra killed some kids. <laughs> the dream, the dream pastries. That's amazing. And <laughs> you got the dream pastries in session 23. How? And what session are we on now? 51. 51. <laughs> what is that? Well, that's my Sonic the Hedgehog ring. And ah. that inside of it is his wedding band. <laughs> that would apparently uh, fit perfectly. I want to pull out a dream pastry and just casually nibble on it and discuss <laughs> Oh, do you? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Roll that. Our <laughs> Roll for vomit. <laughs> I didn't even grab my dice. Where this is your dice. dice? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna need mine too because um, Vlad's gonna be pouring the juice. Oh, can I use a strength set for Just for shiggles. Yeah. I mean, not everybody's gonna drink them though. I mean, I could eat one of those and polish it down with that death, death dancer and just sit there. You could. He's like. All right. You know. Yeah, con save. Uh, 25. 25. Good okay. lord! You yeah. failed. A <laughs> couple of, of interesting points. So, uh, it, you know, it's been a while. You remember what dream pastries are supposed to taste like? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is not the same taste. It's, uh, pretty horrific. Like, Bad. And uh, the trip is pretty close to the same, though. You start to see weird stuff in the cavern. Uh, Vlad's also going to pu pull out the skull pipe with the moths. <laughs> moths. <laughs> moth smoking. That was, that's a fun. You want to tell that story? So, moth smoking? Were you, you were there for that. Okay. I don't know about that. So, this is a combination of two random items that were found on the street, right? And so, they found two, because there's a lot of corpses in Barovia just kind of lying around, because sometimes they don't bother to bury people. Yep. They may come back. And so... We don't bury everybody. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, on one of them, they found a skull-shaped pipe, like a pipe that had... Well, no, it was just a regular pipe. It blew, the, the smoke rings were skulls. Right. Well, it was a pipe that the head of it was a skull. Oh, okay. And, and when you smoke out of it, the smoke that came out was in the shape of skulls, which was very cool. And then they found on another corpse this, like, display of dead moths. With skulls on their wings. With skulls on their wings. So I, 
Eidenschmidt is like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put those in the pipe and smoke them. <laughs> and Blood's the like, I who you? Okay. I said, okay. And basically, they had a really kind of Fucked crazy, up trip. crazy acid trip where like the trees were like. There are children in the trees. And there were children coming out of the trees. It was. I had to save the children. It was weird. I was not there for this. It was super weird and fun. Yes, we, they, they met me in Barovia, and stupid Negri tried to kill children in front of me. I tried to kill Negri. That's I, right. I remember so when I, Negri I tried, to tried to kill some kids. That was after in you actually windmill. went to the windmill. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, was, I was trapped inside of it when y'all met me. He was like going to like cast the spell <clears throat> on them. That was in session 24. That was when he got his uh, That's when percent he got, fail. That because he because he did that and then then cast fly and flew away the, uh, and then, the and then yeah and pissed off the veil vale lord veil vale lord kidnapped him said you can call on me but I might not always be there and he had like it was like a ten percent chance or yeah. something like that. and then he respect druid oh and there's one new guy yeah uh, yes it was around this that. time that uh, some character changes. Took place. Yeah, it was. Uh, because was at this point, you know, you guys were, were more uh, adept at D and D, and we're like, well, I don't really like the way my character arc is going, so we're like to make a few changes, and it worked out for the better, I think, overall, because uh, it made the game more fun for especially for was not a good druid. It just. There was, there's no way around it. He like never did any druid stuff. He would just shoot his bow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we're, we're talking about in. how you only shot your bow and didn't do druid stuff. Didn't do druid stuff. <laughs> uh, like I said, I got that guy on fire, that fire <laughs> thing that one time. You did. <laughs> also true. burned down that forest. That was but, pretty druid. But for the most <laughs> part, you <laughs> for the most part. Not so good. Not so good. What if... You just never druided. So, what if that was an evil druid spirit that captured him, and he turned back into... What he was originally. Evander, whenever the fucking lightning kicked Nagri's ass. Because technically, I didn't really have a backstory other than I was greedy. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. You were captured by this yeah. druidic spirit. And you're making your way through the forest... And you get attacked by an enormous Artek induced Minotaur. <laughs> and I remember I stealthed the shit out of that. You it could not you see me. the shit out of it. You were like a hundred feet away the whole time, just shooting mm. arrows at it. <laughs> uh, and then and kept getting sneak attack because it couldn't fucking see me. Evander, <laughs> Evander, burnt down the forest. Sets the forest on fire. Right next to uh, him, like the monster. Like. Well, I forget what you cast. It was Bob doing it. Druid, Druid Forest Fire. Yeah, I, I just cast like <laughs> Druid Forest Fire. It was like, like flame like hand or something. Burning like, hands. Like he cast burning, burning, burning hands. hands. Set the forest on fire. Because I was trying to attack a Minotaur or something. Yeah. The Artex Minotaur. <laughs> and this is the same session that I introduced Nair, uh, Eisenschmidt's brother. Mm -hmm. When he JT had, was here. He oh god, this was also the same session where we met Blinsky. Is no fun. Well, is no Blinsky. Well, when you when you went into the store, I don't think you actually met Blinsky. We we didn't. No. Did you meet my buddy JT? I don't know. You, if you don't remember him, then you weren't there. Uh, I've been there. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. So session twenty six is when. Nair does the whole Artek thing, becomes the big, like, Cerberus yeah. dog thing, and... That's when JT was texting Rainer yeah. the whole time. Yeah. And, That's when, uh, when like, alright, and he was texting you about some other stuff, yeah. but yeah. When Eisenschmidt jumps into the... Like... The dump, and yeah. it's like a mind meld. And the Artek, it was just an Artek thing, and just jumped. Uh, and that was the session I wasn't here, but I Skyped in. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, and so Rainer was texting JT that That session. was when I just went, got the crazy, the craziness, schizophrenia kind of The situation. chewing on benches kind of yes, thing. Yes, we'll, oh we'll get to that. That was very, very fun. Um, 
Also have to make make sure we include Burning hey. Man. Burning Man. What? I was just checking it. It's exactly ten minutes. Okay, cool. Um, so ten minutes. After that, remember you went to the winery. The uh, oh, that's that's where the wine oh, of, of of Wizards Winery place, uh, where we kind of house ruled a cleave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because like tree blights only have like thirteen hit points or something. Doof, doof, so, doof, and that's that's so where you got your like shotgun killing, out and just swept. Killing, killing tree oh, tree oh, blights yeah. for the days. Right, the whole days. Year <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't understand how greater how, how great weapon master worked. <laughs> uh, Every like, time you oh, kill you get an extra attack, so we just kill, let him keep attack, doing it. But you get you get one extra attack and that's it. It's not Oh, I get to kill all these. Stack. I still yeah. think you should just get. Well, if it's a certain level, stacks on deck. if there's a level difference, maybe oh, you should allow it. That's also where I snuck into a tower and shot some druid bitch through the neck. You did, <laughs> and she fell into the the wine vat. Yep. House rule me a clean. So if there is a uh, ten a level clean. gap clean. between the two, maybe that <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If there's a ten like. That's really far. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's if you guys are level twelve. <laughs> and you're fighting a CR2 creature, or even like Yeah, alive, you can just walk through and cleave it. You might as well not even have a fight, because it's like, dead, 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 dead. We're good. It's that was over. like when we went into Affelsnyar, and I just mo just got everything to mob me and yeah. smited. It couldn't hit you worth a damn. Smoked. Smoked. Yes. Found the Tome of Strahd. Smoked the pancake? <laughs> From left, right, and left. Uh, in the winery, that, that's where you found the Tome of Strahd, which one of you still has. I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think Terrell sure. had it. I'm pretty sure Terrell had it. Somebody else had so it. So then I have it. Yeah. <laughs> I, took yeah. all your shit. I am pretty sure that Terrell had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have it now. That's funny. Return the delivery to the Blue Water Inn. Well, wait, no, no. Also in the winery is where we found all of the greatest alcohol ever. So you probably... Oh, yeah, with the brown mold <laughs> that like did stupid ice or cold damage. Mm -hmm. I still have a barrel yeah. of gunpowder from... Down there, I think. We That's found, we uh, what do we call that stuff? We found some. There were some really unique names that you came up with for that liquor. Yeah, there so was. So there was vodka, think, there was mead. Don't think I wrote them down. Tree blight. Nightmare well, were these God. sessions that you. Yeah, they're on YouTube. Dreamed? Well, I mean, yeah, they, they exist. I could go back and listen to them. There, there you go. go. Remember the Abbey? Yes. With, uh, with, oh, also, this is very important, I think, for the story, but, yeah, uh, when Strahd shows up at the end of that session, oh, yeah, we do the Wicker Man thing, two, two of them, like, I, I think it was Emsch and Eisenschmidt, and Eisenschmidt stayed behind and were, like, gonna fight Strahd, and some, some switcheroo stuff happened, and they were replaced by Simulacrum. Uh, controlled by. Yeah, because Joel Swag controlled me. Technically side. controlled by yeah. them. I had it kind of play out that way. Uh, and so the Abbot, when you guys showed up, was like. Uh, that, that, those aren't your friends. Those aren't your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them. They're like, what? What? No! And then he started <laughs> attacking you guys. And I think he, he, he one shot Eisenschmidt because the Simulacrum has like half of your hit points. Oh, and he one shot me too. And uh, or two shot, you, something like that. You like melted in, into snow, or he did, and they're like, "Oh, oh." Wait, was Terrell one of the simulacrum? Yeah, too? that's right. The yeah. three of you were Terrell in, um, and the prison, Imsch and Eisenschmidt. Yeah, that was because that was when they had split, when I split the party. Uh, and, and, and Vlad was fucking useless because he was up up close and personal, and he does not do up close and personal. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's great. He was a ranged rogue. Where? <laughs> I named one of the uh, sessions, Why Does the Caged Bear Sing? <laughs> Remember, I, I, kept, I broke out of the cage, and then like, I went upstairs... And something happened, and I fell back into a different cage. <laughs> I fell into a trap. And didn't you make, like, a Skelebro down there or something? Yeah, well, there was a... Uh, <laughs> there was a werewolf, yeah, a werewolf yeah. dude who was friendly to them. And then in this the ninth part of Section 29, I, I named it Sudden But Inevitable. Uh, he turned. He, he betrayed them. <laughs> 
sudden butt. And then we just murder. The hell Curse your yeah. sudden butt. Just murder the hell out of them. Uh, there was also, um, let me think. Right after that was when we found Strahd's nightmare. Yes. And uh, well, <laughs> that is when you go to the castle itself, which is pretty close after that. Yeah. Uh, oh, we you, stopped by Vlad's shop you, and armored yeah, up too. Stopped by Vlad's shop. The uh, tailor. Bucephalus. Bucephalus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so they go down into the tomb, like the Cephalus. the basement Cephalus. areas of the castle, and they find the, uh, the tomb of Bucephalus. Strahd's horse. Oh, that's also where we got Sergei, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we got Sergei down there. Well, I still so have Sergei. You got the sword, and you also uh, took Sergei's corpse. I thought we decapitated him. No, we decapitated. No, we decapitated the horse. The we took horse. the sword. I thought we did both. We took the sword. What did you do with, with... We put the horse head on top of Sergei's head, and I have Sergei's head in my bag of holding, or he might have taken it. I had it in my bag of holding. <laughs> you you have, have it in your bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, it's there. You totally <laughs> have it in your bag of holding. It's, it's on the list, yeah. There was also Same the part said. where Vlad bought a Strahd puppet from yes. Blinsky's. <laughs> Because Blinsky's. that will become important in a moment. <laughs> you did beat because he was in the shop. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, 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 right. right. He bought, he, he bought the creepy little dolls in the hangman's platform and handed them out to children because that's just fucking creepy. I had the old Steve pet. The rocking horse. Mm. Well, that's that's what we mounted the head of that's the nightmare right. on. That's right. That's right. You bought the nightmare rocking horse. We put the straw pepper on the, the yeah. rocking horse. Yeah. And when we finally went to go yeah, fight straw, we put Bucephalus. we put the head of Bucephalus on the goddamn rocking on, horse, on and, horse. A, and a little straw puppet on its back. He got so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And, and then Vlad's fiance attacked them. That was great. We saved her though. Um, yeah. Session thirty is when you. It wasn't easy. And fought. That was because That's when you fought Strahd. We knocked her out and uh, threw her in my portable hole. Well, no, the problem was what I did was forced a potion of gaseous form down her throat, not understanding that that's not what that does, and just gave her the ability to turn into gas whenever the fuck she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of being stuck that way. Yeah, and uh, Strahd transforms into his like big nasty. This awesome isn't even my final form. And because uh, I, I I like doing that with bosses because it's fun. Uh, Otherwise, Strahd would have been way too easy. Esmeralda, or because Dark Souls. Esmeralda dies in session thirty-one. Oh, we got her back. Uh, Strahd gets absorbed into the sword. Go swag. Ah. <laughs> Would you need a hand? Nope. We, we have feet. He has monkey feet. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, let's see. At dawn we plan. That's funny. Uh, so you guys, after you defeat Strahd, you arrive back in Sartak City, and it is Meeting under attack. If you recall, it's under attack by dragons. Uh huh. The uh, they had like that barrier up or whatever. Was about to fall. Mm-hmm. Session thirty-two is when you guys go to uh, yeah, Cinefeld, uh, and this is when Aaron dies. Oh, that's wait. In and the middle there is where Ulfgar joined the party. Yes. yes. When we first got back, it, when yes. we get to Star City, you film medic. Yeah, because Vlad stayed behind to be with his now wife and the In dragon Salonia. family. That's right. That's right. Vlad's like, bye, everybody. And he just poofs out of the bar. Yeah. Just gone. <laughs> <laughs> so session 32. Uh, and I had planned this like shortly after session 31. But I needed some main known character to die to give it more oomph, oomph and relevance. So, yeah. sorry, Aaron. <laughs> so, Aaron Aaron had to go, unfortunately. Uh, but it was... <coughs> it was her Schmitty. It was, it was good. Can't kill the kid. Yeah, you can't kill the kid. Kid wouldn't know what to do anyway. It's like, oh, uh, baby died. We can Resmir is that half-dragon. 
And that's when we got Yul Smash. Yes. Uh, it would also be of interesting note to my parents who were telling the story about that battle because that was the town that was near the woods we lived in. Mm-hmm. So I kind of claimed it as my, my hometown. Because yeah. once, once they all were killed, that's whenever I went to start training with the hermit that lived outside Wait, of town. Fair. Antonio Sinclair. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was he blind too? No. Fucking doing this. He isn't blind. I hate doing this. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah Montolio. You get one shot by doing this when you're a tank. <laughs> Montolio, that's Montolio de Bruschi. Like, Antonio Sinclair is an entirely man. different person. I don't. I'm not. Especially, I, I play a lot of. When I play with some people, actual when I'm returning to farm loot boxes, I, I play thought, a lot of Total Mayhem. Was he Mayhem. based off Montolio? No. Guess who, okay. guess who loves to play Doomfist in Total Mayhem? Yeah. Assholes. This is a good problem. The people see. who play Ana and just sleep dart you. Oh, the... <laughs> Well, you're an asshole. So then we were sent to the Underdark. Birth of Doom, Divine Invention. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the, the, the White Dragon. 33. Okay. This is a fun story. You want to tell it? So, I don't really remember all of it, uh, but I know that we were sent... At, you tell it, I don't remember. Fuck. Okay. So, you are, we're sent here to obviously deal with some more Dragon Cult stuff. And you encounter Resmir, who has Joel Smash. And you go to fighting this individual. And I gave you a certain number of rounds before the, the big, nasty white dragon shows up. That's right, and I set the glyph of warding to uh, shock the, her. You, you set up a glyph of warding. Um, and, Goddamn hour. Yeah. And you managed to kill Resmir and were able to grab Yul Smash. Yul Smash right when the dragon shows up and, and does Frost Breath. Frost Breath, which knocks Terrell out entirely Fro- unconscious. Frozen solid. Froze him solid. And then we decided to fuck Grasping off. the Doomslayer. If I remember right, I, would, I, I cast Freedom of Movement on Imch. And Haste. Uh, somebody else, uh, I don't remember Haste. He had Haste somehow. Was, he had the boots, right? Oh, well, I had boots of speed. Boots yeah. of speed. He had the boots so, of speed. I cast Freedom of Movement so he could get over difficult terrain. He runs. <laughs> he runs. He grabs Terrell. That. And he had the barrel on his he back. Makes a, uh, <laughs> he makes a, a strength check. I think it was athletics. Yeah. And I want to say that you didn't roll awesomely. Right. Yeah. But so it was like, like a 15, 15 or so. But 20. it was enough to get you moving, but you left a little bit of Terrell behind. Yep. Left leg. His leg. His leg. So <laughs> broke your leg off and left it there. <laughs> We're out of here. You pull him off. At least you got it on ice of immediately. the ground. Toss him in the barrel. You toss him in the barrel, <laughs> and you book it back over there, and then you guys teleport, teleport out because because uh, uh, Penumbra is waiting for us to get yes. out. Yes. Um. And then Ulfgar gets the brilliant idea. It's like I don't have access to the regeneration spell. Let's divide intervention. This <laughs> rolls. Like an eleven. <laughs> Out of I had to roll below a twelve, and I got, I got 11. eleven. And I was like, "Holy shit, that actually worked!" Mm-hmm. So Arusha so, blessed him with a stone Arusha leg. Arusha blessed him with a stone leg, giving him disadvantage on stealth. Uh, stealth, but giving him some other neat little bonusy benefit, which were called thunder thighs, thanks to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> thunder thighs. That's right. The blood hunter could enchant something. His weapon. Not the Doom Slayer, because he was like, fuck you. But like the leg that made of stone from the Dwarven God? Mm-hmm. Uh, thunder. <laughs> the <chanted. laughs> Very, Excuse me. Very good. Very, Football. very good. Dragon. And then that, <laughs> that was when we were sent Man. to the Underdark, right? Yes, you were sent <laughs> yeah. to Azorus. Uh, in the dark to uh, save yeah. an individual of importance uh, who was being. Can we get sent in the sky? We were sent to Kirill, right? Uh, I remember Kirill. You went to, like, through Kirill. 
Because my dad and makes I, a guy who was directly for the guy whose name is on that little Chris Klein Sports Complex. King Adric but I, he's the one who funded most of that extra edition. All right. So and you take I'll see you next time. Up there. Later.